wrecking ball is out. It is demo day in Dallas, where the hope is that the Leaning Tower comes down once and for all. You're looking at some live pictures now from Chopper 11. And we do have live team coverage this morning. Madison is here in studio with a look at the traffic impact from this. First, though, we want to send it over to Jen, who is live near the tower off of 75 in Haskell. Jen. And one thing we've learned for certainty this morning, Russ, is that this is not going to be a quick process. Crews have been chipping away at the building for about an hour, and we've seen really no drastic change in the structure so far. But that hasn't slowed the crowds from stopping by this site today to get one final look. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be, but it's still leaning. <laughs> it's a leaning tower for sure. <laughs> After much anticipation, demolition began just before 10 this morning. The developer tells me the wrecking ball weighs 5,600 pounds. They are hitting the top first, then working their way down. You'll remember this all started a week ago Sunday when crews imploded the 11-story building to make way for a new development, but the core of the building never fell. Knowing this brief moment in Dallas history would not last, hundreds of people have stopped by again today to snap one more photo in front of the Leaning Tower. Well, I hope heck, I get to see it go all the way down, that's for sure. What goes up must come down. Everything together, everything that I love about, about painting and life is, is all right here. I think it's great. I mean, uh, people are having fun, and that's, that's what's important. I spoke with a developer just a few minutes ago. He says he expected this demo to take hours, but at this rate, it may be even longer than they originally anticipated. We've seen a lot of people parking along the Central Expressway service road this morning, stopping here to take a look. It's already causing a slowout on the service road, 